2023 was a busy year in web design. A new bunch of design patterns, trends, and tools emerged, Dribble had a questionable rebranding, and the Adobe Figma merger fell through, but what took the headlights was the AI craze all across the board. Bento-style layouts use a structured grid system to neatly categorize your website's information into distinct segments. Every section serves as a specialized area to spotlight particular elements or key points. The Bento grid can be easily combined with any of the other styles, flat, morphism, aurora, and so on. Monochrome design started gaining traction in 2023 and will have a word to say in 2024. It can be the classic black and white combo, but it could include minimal use of color accents or some shades of gray. The Aurora style has been around for a few years, but it began evolving into something new in 2023, and its popularity is only going to grow in 2024. When merged with 3D objects, it creates a stunning, eye-catchy effect. The basic flat design is slowly dying as more and more designs blend it with aurora or morphism. While it's tempting to add lots of aurora or morphism elements, less is more in this case, so aim for balance and consistency. Micro-interactions have been around for a while, but in 2024, they are expected to become even more popular. Whether it's scrolling, hovering, or clicking, the subtle interactions in the UI will become more context-aware and personalized. Keep in mind they are meant to complement the design, not dominate it. Overdoing it will create a bad experience for the users. A new approach to hero layouts is based on dynamic grids. This trend is characterized by big typography, bold colors, and elements all over the place. Some elements are unaligned or made smaller on purpose. Using this type of dynamic grid will lead to unique and eye-catching hero sections. The marquee banner is making a subtle yet noticeable comeback in UI design, adding a touch of elegance to modern interfaces. Its re-emergence reflects a nostalgic nod to traditional web elements while infusing content. Large typography is currently one of the most popular trends in web design. Because they are attention-grabbing, the wow factor will win over the users. Typically, designers avoid decorative fonts and use neutral typefaces instead. Regardless of how or where you use it, large typography is here to stay. Dribble was launched in 2009. It was an exclusive club for designers to showcase their work and draw inspiration from others. Getting an invitation was a reason for celebration. As Dribble gained popularity, it quickly became a hub for designers of all levels. From seasoned professionals to junior designers, the community grew rapidly. Over the years, the platform introduced a jobs board and several features that help designers and agencies find work. In 2023, Dribble revamped its brand and website, introducing a new logo and a user interface more focused on convincing companies to use their jobs board. This implies that Dribble has shifted towards functioning more as a jobs board and less as a platform for designers to showcase their work, which makes sense given the money companies pay for a job post. Twenty twenty three was a big year for Figma users as the app released several big updates, acquired an AI company, and the Adobe merger was terminated. With the introduction of Jambot powered by ChatGPT, FigJam now has AI features. 
Variables in collections allow for more dynamic designs. One of their use cases is switching between light and dark modes. Dev mode is a new space in Figma that improves collaboration between designers and developers. The blog was rebranded into Shortcut. Added to all of these are various integrations for Zoom, Jira, Google Meet, and VS Code. During Config 2023, Figma announced the acquisition of Diagram, the group behind several AI tools that have been released as Figma plugins in 2020. At this point, it hasn't been confirmed if they will continue as standalone plugins or will be integrated as native AI tools within the Figma ecosystem. In September 2022, Adobe announced its acquisition of Figma for around $20 billion, which prompted investigations by the U.S. Department of Justice, the U.K.'s Competition and Markets Authority, and the European Commission. All these entities are concerned the deal is anti-competitive. Of course it is. By acquiring Figma, Adobe would become the clear market leader and dominate the design tools market. Eventually, the deal crumbled under the regulator's pressure. On the 18th of December 2023, 15 months after the merger was made public, Adobe and Figma put out a joint statement announcing they mutually agreed to terminate the merger. Shantanu Narayan, the Adobe CEO, said Adobe and Figma strongly disagree with the recent regulatory findings, but we believe it is in our respective best interests to move forward independently. While the Figma CEO, Dylan Field, stated Figma and Adobe have reached a joint decision to end our pending acquisition. It's not the outcome we had hoped for, but despite thousands of hours spent with regulators around the world detailing differences between our businesses, our products, and the markets we serve, we no longer see a path toward regulatory approval of the deal. Things didn't go according to plan, but Figma still came on top since the initial deal included a $1 billion termination fee. Adobe has made it clear they will fulfill the contract and pay the fee. The AI craze began gaining momentum in November 2022 when OpenAI released ChatGPT, a conversational bot. It became the fastest growing app of all time as it reached 100 million users in two months. For reference, Instagram reached 100 million users in two years, Facebook in four and a half years, and Twitter in five years. Following their $10 billion deal with Microsoft, OpenAI unveiled ChatGPT4 and later ChatGPT4 Turbo, an AI model that many companies integrated in their design and no-code tools. Figma introduced AI features in FigJam, which can be used to quickly generate templates or diagrams, summarize content or sort, and group stickies. Webflow announced an AI co-pilot for its web editor, while Framer introduced a new feature powered by AI, which quickly generates a layout and color scheme within their app. Adobe Firefly's AI model was integrated into Photoshop and Illustrator, allowing creators to generate designs within the apps. Canva unveiled Magic Studio, a hub that enabled users to use AI for various tasks within their app, and later announced the integration of various AI models in its ecosystem. The list includes, but is not limited to, DAL-E, Mojo AI, sketch to life Murph. Users of Bing and Edge engaged in over 1.9 billion AI-powered chats and created over 1.8 billion images. 2023 was an eventful year in web design. It's now time to see what 2024 will bring us.